And I want parents to listen. Your firstborn, your first son, is number one among others. Is number one among others. You must know it. Number one is not ordinary. Whatever is number one is not ordinary. Whoever and whatever stands as number one is not ordinary. No. To a large extent, it determines and defines what happens to others. To a very large extent, your firstborn or your first son will determine and define what happened to other people. Oh, I thank God for a mother of Moses, Jacob. The Bible says when she saw that the little kid was a goodly child, she took risk, she paid the price, she made the sacrifice to preserve his life. Parents, make the necessary sacrifice upon all your children, but especially the first. Especially the first, because it's number one. It's number one. Number one is not ordinary. Whether it concerns human beings and some other things. For instance, the first day in the week is not an ordinary day. The first week in the month is not an ordinary, ordinary, ordinary week. The first month in the year is not an ordinary month. The first day in a school for a, a child that is registering is not an ordinary day. Your first day in a new job, in a new office, or wherever you are posted to, is not an ordinary day. For those who know, you take spiritual control. First day, first time, first heat, first move, is not ordinary. Number one is not ordinary. The first appearance. They say you will never have a second chance to make the first impression. The first appearance. You are going to a place, a new place. You are going to resume in an office. You are going to open a shop. You are going on a journey. You are testing something out in the first time. The first, appear, the first experience. First is not ordinary. That is the truth I am pushing. First, when they say something is one, number one, the first day, the first time, the first experience, the first born, the first son, is not the first visit. First is not ordinary. Therefore, first born and sons should get serious attention. 